It's a quick video of how you can break down some nature powered solar garden accent lights with a pair of tin snips. I'm going to use these to create solar lamps using wide mouth ball jars. You have to use the wide mouth with this model because of the large solar cell at the top. These break apart pretty easy. There's just three screws that hold them in place and they come apart in two parts. The plastic is pretty easy to cut on these. You should be able to snap right through it with some tin snips. It's sort of a brute force method, but to be honest, I tried it with the Dremel tool first and didn't find it to be uh, very pleasant to be cutting through all that plastic with a high speed tool. So I decided to try the tin snips and it's actually worked out fairly well. As you can see, it's easy to get through it. Pieces just start flying off of it. You want to get right up along the edge of the solar cell if you can. You can get it right down to the edge and you're going to have to cut the corners really tight. It's the only way it's going to fit inside one of the, even these wide mouth jars, which are as wide as you're going to find. Anyway, cut the top part down, then cut the bottom part down. What you're going to find is you're going to have to cut around on the inside of the switch right here. The switch will actually just pop out. You can pull it straight out. It's just sort of in place. But with the switch plastic on there, you're not going to be able to fit it inside the jar. So you're going to have to cut a small circle around that. Also pretty easy to do with the tin snips. A little harder to get started because of the edges. But once you're in there, it just cuts straight through. Just like cutting through, uh, well, certainly not paper, but uh, you know, cutting through maybe even tin. It's about the same consistency for the, the tin snips. But the tin snips are really just very large, powerful scissors that we use for cutting through. Um, ducting. So I happen to have those around, tried them out, and they've worked out quite well. As you can see, I just did the complete circuit around the, uh, the edge of that, and it's free now. I'm going to do the same around the top, but I'm not going to put that on the video. When it's done, it'll look like one of these. In this particular one, I cut around the plastic on the switch, but I really didn't need to because I can actually pull it straight out like uh, and that one's kind of glued in, which is, I guess, why I didn't pull it out in the first place. But there it goes. Freed it up. So now you just have a switch connected to two wires. You have the base and the top connected by two wires. So you just have to carefully glue those together and place them into the jar. You can see these guys fall straight in. So, And then glue the, the top solar cell to your lid. You cut a hole in, and then you're good to go. That's all for now.